Hello guys, welcome to Miss T's Tarot. We will be doing a pick a card reading today. I have three pals here. Pick from the pal that you most drawn to. Um, the topic for today, how do other how do you come off to others? How do you come off to others? How do others see you? How do you come off to them when they see you? How do you come off to others? Pile number one is the purple heart. Pile number two is the pink heart. And pile number three is the green heart. I'll give you a moment to look at the pals and choose from the one that you are most drawn to. And then we'll get started with pile number one. I'll give you just a moment. <clears throat> I thank all you guys for watching my videos, liking, sharing, subscribing. This channel is to inspire you, to educate you, to, um, you know, just giving you the download from spirit, from me, from spirit to me, to you. This is a, a enlightenment channel to encourage you, to enlighten you on your spiritual journey. Okay, pal number one, we'll get started on how do you come off to others and how other people see you when they, how do you come off when others see you? That's the pink, um, pink heart, I mean purple heart, I'm sorry. We have the strength card here, pal number one. How do you come off to others? How do others see you? We have the Knight of Wands. I feel like you come off as a very strong person to have a lot of strength and power. A person that shows action here. A person that takes action. That has a lot of courage and power and patience here with the strength card here. You come off as a very strong person, pal, number one. On how do... Uh, how do you come off to others on how other people view you when they see you? You come off as somebody very passionate, have a lot of energy, adventurous, charming, strong person with power. <clears throat> I feel like uh, people see you, see your determination. You come off as a very determined person on any and everything that you want here. You have the strength to face anything, you have the strength to go for anything, you have the patience for anything, you have the power here. A lot of strength is here. People see you as a very energetic person when they see you. This is how you come out to others. It's somebody very energetic. Somebody very truthful. Speak your mind. You have the strength, the courage, the power. You speak your mind, the truth here. The Ace of Swords. Some people see you as a person that moves very fast. You don't slow down. You move very fast on, on anything you want to move on, like for as your courage, your actions. You move fast. You don't wait around. You move on your actions here. You move on your actions with this eight of somebody see you're gonna move on your actions. Whatever you say you wanna do, you're gonna do it. You the type of person that's gonna move very fast on whatever it is you feel like you want to do. People see you as this courageous person. That you will just, you know, just do it. Very energetic here. Also a charmer. Some people, you come off to some people as if you are have that you've been heartbroken, like. You know, like your heart, it's like you holding your heart back. You guiding your heart. You protecting your heart. Let's get some more cards here. Maybe some, maybe they're telling me more about this. It said release here. Some people see you as a person that has released a whole lot of crap in your life here. You moving on your actions. You no longer letting things hold you back. You releasing that like that bond that bound you was in maybe you was bound up all in your head this person is releasing these thoughts 
that, that people seeing you as a strong person here with strength. You have released a whole lot of things that was holding you back that made you now you more energetic. Maybe you was in this position once upon a time. They see you as a person that was heartbroken here. Somebody did. You protecting your heart, but you have released these things, these bounds on you. They see you as a person that's very courageous now. You look different. You moving different now. You moving faster. You no longer have slowed down. This person's at the graveyard here. They was feeling really, really bad. And you are no longer in this three of swords energy. People see how fast you're moving, how courageous you are. You're taking action. You took your life back. You're no longer in this energy of feeling sad and alone anymore. They see your strength now. You're more energetic. You're more passionate. You're no longer in this three of uh, three of swords energy. You got your passion back. You're moving differently. You're moving faster. You're taking action on these things now. On everything you want. You got your power back. People see it looking at you differently now. It's your faith has changed you. People looking at your faith and things have changed. You no longer in this bad energy that you release or uh, being in this mindset around, you know, you know, near death situations or in this this uh mindset of feeling like, you know, you have no purpose. People see how you come out to others now, they see your faith, your strength. Your faith in, in, in God or something like that. You have changed. You move, you moving different. You moving faster. You no longer confused. This is how people see you now. You have released this confusion. You got more clarity on what you want and you're going for it. Your passion is back. This is how people, how you coming off to people now. Your faith has changed here. You coming out, they noticing your faith have changed. Your beliefs have changed. You no longer in this confused mindset. You going for what you want. You acting on it. <clears throat> some people feel like that you come out to some people as a workaholic. You work hard all the time. You always working all the time. People feel like you work all the time here. This is how you come out to others. It's the service that you give. People, you know, you come out to others as a person that give your all into situations and helping in every way you can. Your service is good. Your strength here, your courage, your power, the actions you take, how patient you are, how you give your service or helping people, helping others. You work all the time. People feel like your job never ends here. This is how people see you. They notice something different about you. It's your service. It's your strength. You being more patient. The courage is back here. It's like you had a reboost in good health. You went from a mental state of, you know, being... Your good health wasn't in a good state, but they see a reboost of strength, a good health, good mental health here. No longer in this energy like this person is at the grave right here. You're no longer confused. I feel like it's your mental state that people are, uh, you know, how you come out to others. Your mental state is better. You're stronger now. You're no longer confused anymore here. You work a lot. You put out good services to helping others, giving good advice here. Let's see what else is here. Once upon a time, I feel like that you wasn't letting go of the things that had you in a bad way, had you all confused, had your mental clarity off. You was holding on. You see this road right here? You wouldn't go straight on down the road. Now you have the power, the courage. You taking actions to move. Like I said with this eight of ones, you got up and started moving, getting your strength back, getting your faith back in God. I mean, you start trusting in God. This is how people see you. I mean, this is how you come out to others now. 
You come off to us. Uh, uh, to others and as a strong person. You're no longer clinging, holding on to things. You're going on through life. You're living your life stronger person now. Energetic, pa more passionate now. You're giving a lot of services out, good advice, helping others here. You're no longer holding on to the sides of this road. You're going straight on through it. You're living your life here. This is how you coming off to others. Is somebody to you know, build your life back up. You have the strength now, the courage, the passion back here. Somebody's got their mental state back now. You have healed. People see your healing here. How you? How do you come out to others? Is somebody that have healed themselves, got your passion back, your energy back. You uplifting the humanity now. You uplifting humanity, the world. It's your service. How you coming off to others is a, a loving, caring, nurturing, a person that has a lot of strength here. You're not letting nothing hold you back anymore. You have healed, um, you know, the hurts in your life. You have released those confusing thoughts. You release these thoughts that had you in a bad way. This person went to the grave here. You're uplifting humanity here. You showing service. You helping others. You inspiring others here. This is how people, this is how you come out to others. This loving, kind, inspiring person here. A person has a lot of strength. You said break the chains here. You broke ancestral patterns. You healed. You rewriting. You have rewrote your future here on how your life should be. This is how people, how you coming off to others now. It's a strong, inspiring, encouraging person, courageous person, a powerful person. Somebody takes action. You have broke the chains. You no longer feeling like you confused, trapped. Like with this release, you have broke the chains here. You stop holding on to things that was no longer serving you, that kept you in a bad way. This is how people seeing you now. They see your strength now, how courageous you are. This is how you come out to others when they see you now. Somebody very powerful, courageous. Somebody have decided to break these ancestral patterns and chains you healed yourself you decided to move in the direction and, and you know step out on faith go for your dreams your dreams of helping others here because you're giving a lot of service here you breaking chains you help you uplifting humanity here maybe you're a spiritual leader maybe you are uh, maybe it's something you do in the public aisle you know, you are inspiring a lot of people probably from your words of encouragement. This person is sitting right there with this lady here, helping her, feeding her. You might be feeding people with knowledge. You are encouraging people with your strength, your courage, your power, the action you take in here. You are a star seed, and people know that this is how you come out to others. They can see that glow and that light in you. You see this card? Let me see what they're doing in here. The moon is shining. She's sitting in the moonlight. You are a star seed. You shining brightly, and people, when they meet you, they see that in you. How you come out to others is somebody very inspiring. You are a star seed. Sent from God, God, to encourage people, to get help people to get their strength back, to take action for whatever it is they want to do in their lives. The inspiration, you are the star seed. This is how people see you as a star seed. Somebody give your service unlimited. Maybe, like I said, maybe you are a public speaker. Speaker, you are uplifting humanity here. Like I said, you could have a platform or something you are encouraging people to do every day. You're no longer in this confused mindset anymore. 
no longer in that lack mindset anymore. You are uh, uplifting people. You giving them hope, the strength. All of this is the service that you give. You are helping humanity here, and that is good. How do you come out to others? How number one is somebody that has a lot of security here. A lot of security. You making deposits in all type of accounts here. Somebody's that you know, I'm gonna read the back of this security deposits. True security comes from having a reserve of time, space, and energy, personal power, and love. People see that you are showing love. It's your energy. It's your power. It's the love that you're giving to people in different ways. Maybe it's money, love, advice. You're giving people the energy through helping humanity here, power number one. This is how... How do others, like I said, how do you come out to others? This is how other people see you. If somebody has security, you have money, but you're making deposits in all of these accounts. you helping people to be wealthy in their own minds. You're giving people their minds back again. Energy, you give them hope, personal power. you encouraging them to love themselves. This is how you come off to others. You are very encouraging. You are inspiring. Security is here. You making deposits into people. And you helping others to, to do the same. Make deposits in all areas of life. Not just money deposits. Love deposits. Personal strength deposits. You know, all of that. How do you come out to others as somebody uh, who have released a lot of things from their past that was holding them back? I mean, you got your strength back. You had the courage and the power. Like I said, that strength card is here. You had the courage and the power to release things that were no longer serving you here. And some people know the things you went through. They are surprised by your strength here, pal number one. This is how you come off to others now. You was able to release things that wasn't serving you and you living a comfortable, it seemed like easy life here. Stress-free life here. You release those things that was, was no longer serving you. Space, yep. Yeah. Space is here. You the type of person they come and not. This is how people see you is you value your space and your time here. Let's see what this back is. The quality of your life, life has more to do with what you remove from your life than what you add to it. Yep. Like I said, you have space now. You have a lot of space for good things to happen, for you to show your power, you know, your courage now because you eliminated and you released Things that was no longer serving you, whether it was family, friends, job, whatever it is. You look like you're living a, a comfortable, stress-free life here. You made the space for this. This is how you come out to others. You don't waste your time with things that don't serve you anymore. You have the space now you need to grow, to add good things that are growing in your life. This is how people see, this is how you come out to others. If somebody have a lot of, you know, a lot of space and time now, you only holding on to things that serve, ser serve you, people that serve you. If there's nothing that, you know, it's not going to be beneficial to you, you're not going to even put it in your space. They see that. You're not dealing with stuff like that anymore. You're not putting no extra baggage in these spaces. You only have in here what you need. You see all this stuff on the shelf? These are things that she need now. You not don't have all that clutter and all that baggage now. This is how you come off to others. You have cleaned your house up, your mind up, everything. You threw out things that no longer serve you. You got the strength now, the courage, the power. 
You reclaimed your power. You released the things that weren't serving you. You decide to speak up. Tell these people or these things, I'm no longer serving you. You no longer should be here. You got to go. You start speaking up. I'm not having it. You got to go. You reclaimed your power here. And this is how you come off to others. They are so amazed by this. You know how strong you are. How courageous you are here. You started speaking up for, for yourself. And the things that don't serve you, not letting them in. How do you come out to, uh, up to others? Is a very kind person. Courageous person. Patient, more patient now to things. Loving here. You have a heart of gold. This is how you come out to others. Your strength is so amazing. Your courage is so amazing. Amazing. It's the love. You more loving now. You stress free. You release the problems in your life and you leave living a happy <coughs> a happy life now. You started speaking up for yourself. You're no longer holding things in. You're no, no, no longer letting people be in your space. They don't serve you. You are a loving person. This is how people see you as a loving, caring, strong. A person has a lot of strength here. Kind person. Somebody want to offer you a romance here. Somebody does. It may be a man holding their heart here. You could be a man. It, it, take this as it resonate. The door to romance is here. How do you come out? How do you come out to others? You come off as a loving, strong person here, a kind person here, and you got the door to romance card here. Somebody wants to come in and offer you a romantic relationship here because of you being so loving, caring, kind here. How do you come out to others is a very abundant person, a person that has everything. You Security is here also, like I said, security. You've been making deposits and love deposits and everything here. Let's see what else it say on the back of this card. You making deposits in all type of accounts. People see you as a blossoming, abundant person. Somebody that can have anything they want. They see you as a person with security. Anything you want. You making deposits in all areas. Love, finances, energy. Personal power and love, love here. They see you. They see you as a um someone that takes other people feel like that. How others see you is somebody that takes a lot of time and spend a lot of time alone, you know. They don't realize what you're doing here, but you have to take a time out to regroup, to rethink, to release some things. Like, release is over here. People see you as a person that kind of stay to themselves here. Maybe in hermit mode a lot. How do you come out to others as a person that's distance here? A person that spend a lot of time alone, or they think you do. A distant person. How do you come out to others? How do you come out to others? The world card is here. Mysterious, I would think. The moon card is here. Some people may think you come off as being a sneaky person, that somebody that has something to hide here. 
but they don't understand all you've been through. You are protecting things in your life. You being careful. That's why you spend a lot of time talking to spirit. You're in this hermit mode all alone. And some people, you come out to some people as a, a mysterious, a person is, you know, that's hiding things to some people. How do you come out to some people? But they just don't understand you had to do these things and you are doing these things so so that you could call back your power so you can get your strength back. You, you had to go into this meditative state, this hermit mode, to find out who you really are. So that's where your strength come from. People are amazed by the strength that you have now, the courage, the power, you know, the patience, all of this stuff now. So it may seem to some people, but you know the real reason you had to do this it was a lot of things you had to release from your life here, like I said. Some stressful things here. So this is how you come on. I mean, come out to others, some people. A lot of people see your strength, they are amazed by it, and others want to know, you know, by you not being around a lot, or you kind of stand to yourself. They don't understand that this had to be you. You had to do some soul searching here to know what's for you and what's not for you to know what people need to be in your life and those that you don't need to have in your life. You took the time to do some inner work on yourself, soul searching yourself. And this is how you come off to some people as being a person that don't want to be bothered. But you on a spiritual journey here. Spiritual journey. You had to do these things. And you may seem like you being sneaky, but it's not. That moon card is here. To others, they may they think you got a, sne a sneaky motive or something. But you had to do all this. All this was part of the plan to your healing here. You had to release things and people that no longer serve you. And some people are really um, happy to see you that you have changed so much. You got your strength and your power back. You took your power back. So this is how you come off to others, pal number one. We're going to be moving on to pal number two here next. I'm going to grab these cards up. Okay, we about to have pound number two now we got. Pound number two is the pink heart. How do you come off to others? We have the Empress card here. You come off as a very down to earth person. You the mother of earth. Fertility, abundance. You very grounded, down to earth. You are the empress. You have it all. Beautiful. Nurturing. You create families here. You very fertile. You the boss. Boss B. The empress is the boss B. You are the boss. This is how you come out to others. We have the moon card here. Some people think you have hidden motives. You you kind of sneaky here. But you are the empress. A lot of people going to think a lot of things about you. Because you have it all going for yourself. You are the creator. 
down to earth, very fertile abundance. You hold it all together. You the top B. So a lot of people don't know who you are. They feel like you being sneaky when you can't be around. An uh, empress can't do everything everybody else to do because it's their job to be nurturing. Uh, you know, keeping the families together. You know, making sure everything is very grounded around. You know, the whole family around everything. We are bosses. You the empress. So, of course, people, you know... How you come off to others? They some people just don't know who you are. You just beautiful to some people. They don't really know who you really are. So it seems like they looking at you like you very sneaky because you're not all out there doing everything, being with all type of people. You are a boss. You have to keep yourself in that boss position. You are the boss. Be. Some people see you as this five of swords, how you come off to certain people because you don't take no mess. You are the empress. You let it be known. You're going to tell them when they're right, they're wrong, how they're supposed to act. You are a boss. And they feel like, hey, she uh, she's not on the same page with us. She thinks she's better than us. And it's creating some kind of conflict within their selves, not you. Because they don't understand you are the empress. Whether you've let them know that or not, but they should know because a boss empress is going to show herself. And maybe that's what you have done. You told them that you're not with all the mess that they with. You know, with drama, fights. It's a way we got to carry ourselves as the empress. This is how you come off to some people is this. Because you're not entertaining this crap. You are a boss. You're a leader. You the nine of cups here. Some people see you as this nine of cups. Having all wishes fulfilled. You have the beauty, the brains, the looks. Very abundant person here. A creator. Some people see you as this boss. Some people see you as this nine of cups here. Very generous. You count your blessings here. Some people see you as this and some see you as this five of swords. But they only, I feel like you won't get on the page with this mess because you are an empress, empress and you know it. Beautiful, abundant. You are a creator here of many things, families, creating everything, very down to earth here. You the one people look up to. You have to keep yourself all together. You are the nine of cups here. They see you as this nine of cups. You having everything you want. You very abundant. You show your generosity. People appreciate that. Some people appreciate how generous you are. <clears throat> Some people see you, how you come out to other people. Your life is boring. You don't do anything. But they don't understand the empress has to protect her energy. She can't be around any and everybody. So, of course, you know, some people will say y'all have a different viewpoints and they create problems here with the five of swords. Some people going to say you boring, you don't like to be around people, but the empress has to protect her energy. She has to be careful who she's around. Take this as a resonate emperor or empress. You the boss. People are looking at you. You the head. You that be. Or you that do. You are a boss. So you have to protect your energy and pull back. You can't roll with everything. This is how people, some people see you. As a person that like to keep up. Or don't want to be involved in confusion. You taking time out from these people. And they don't even understand you are a boss. You the nine of cups. You have that. You cannot just be going out there giving your generosity away to ungrateful people. Or people that's not worthy of your time and your money. What else do we have, power number two? It's your perfection. The empress perfects everything. Look at her. Both of y'all are beautiful. Your beauty, every, the way you do things, everything you do, you try to perfect this. 
You are a boss. You walking in these boss shoes, male or female, emperors or emperor. It's how you perfect things or how people, how you come off to others. Maybe like they may be seeing like you stuck up, but the emperors have to, you mean that's the attitude the empress or the emperor has. It's your perspective. I mean, perception, how you come off to others. They may be taking it in a bad way, maybe saying you stuck up. No, you're not stuck up. You're smart. You're wise. You're beautiful. You're abundant. You're a creator. This is how you come out. A person that, that shows a lot of gratitude. You show a lot of gratitude to people. You help a lot of people. You dare for a lot of people. The empress is there. Love and nurturing. Down to earth. Try to help as much as possible here. That's the reason why you have to pull your energy back and some people look at you as being sneaky and you have motives. No, you can't share all this energy and you can't give gratitude to everybody. <clears throat> You've had a renewal here. You've changed in a lot of ways here. This is how people see you. You done bossed up. Maybe you were in the Empress at one, once upon a time, but you are now. People see that. You have renewed yourself, your perception. You renewed yourself. You bossed up. You stepped up into that leadership position. You are the boss. Beautiful boss. Emperor, Empress. Got it going on. Your growth. Like I said, you grew. You grew right into this empress position. You renewed yourself. It's your perception on how people, how you come off to others. They may look at you, like I said, you stuck up one stuck up B or one stuck up dude. But baby, you have to keep that boss attitude at all times. Stay grounded. You have to stay grounded at all times. You have to watch your surroundings people you surround yourself with, who you give your energy to. And you are giving it to a people that deserve it because you are showing gratitude here. Let's see what else we have here. Anna, grandmother of Jesus. Yep, you are, what is it, sending? Seeding the light, laying the foundation. Yeah, the empress lays the foundation. You sowing seeds to people. You uplifting people. You sowing light and abundance and fertility into people so that they can grow. Growth is here. You've grown, but you are helping people to grow through your attitude, your gratitude. Right here, it said... Seeding the light, laying the uh, foundation, divine plan. This was your divine plans. This your divine mission, and people don't understand that. Everything ain't for everybody to know. They feel like you being sneaky here. As you helping people here, you, you seeding light into others. You giving other people light. You laying the foundation, the divine plan. You are the empress. This is your divine mission is to help inspire others. <clears throat> the universe say you, it say you go first. The universe will catch you. So you got to do what God has called you to do. To be this boss, this leader here. You are inspiring people. You showing your gratitude. You are seeding the light into people. Putting light and hope back into people again. That This was a call from the universe here. This is how people see you. You know, probably as being a stuck-up bee or stuck-up dude here or whatever. Because you are a boss. You are a leader. You have to keep yourself like this. These people don't realize what the universe has called you to do here. And you have to do this. People are looking at you, like I said, as one of those type of stuck-up bees or stuck-up dudes. 
you know, because of how you hold your, your head up high, how you carry yourself, how beautiful you are, how you don't take no mess off of people. This was a divine calling from the universe. It was divine plan for you to be the light to help others that need you, that need help on a spiritual journey. This is a calling for the empress and the emperor to be the way that you are. You have transformed into this empress, this divine theme or divine masculine. This was a calling on your life. And some people don't understand this. This is how they looking at you. And some in a good way, but because you have helped so many people, this lady really appreciate the gratitude here. People do appreciate the gratitude or how you have really helped them, inspired them, transformed their life. You had a transformation yourself here. And some people see this transformation that the emperors or the empress had was a bad thing because you no longer do or have the same people in your circle with that, like that five of swords. You have changed your life because you had a calling on your life. This is how you come off as to others as a person that has transformed into to something different that they don't even understand. And some people understand the transformation because you were sent here to be the light, to put light back into others from the universe here. The universe said leap. The universe said go. I said go, Empress. Go, Emperor. You got to lead here. You have changed. You have transformed. You have grown here. You renewed yourself. It was a calling on your life here to do things differently, to inspire others to be the mother of the earth, to give back to the earth, give back to people, to inspire people on their spiritual journeys here. He said, align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change? That's what you did. You start aligning your life with your calling here. It's right here. Align your life. It said, what is... I can't read that upside down. What is not aligned or needs to change? People don't like that you have changed. This is how you come off to others. People that you knew. You come off to others as a person have changed a lot. You have aligned your life with your calling here. To be a boss to the world. To the universe. The universe called you for this job. You had a calling on your life. You are a divine theme, divine masculine here. Transformation. You transforming lives here because it's been put on your life to take this calling. So, yeah, you look different. People are saying things differently about you. You still beautiful. You was beautiful then, but you beautiful on the outside and inside now because you are doing the calling that spirit asks you to do. You are renewing lives. You helping people grow their lives, getting their lives back. Transformation is here. Yep, you got grounded. You staying grounded here. It said get grounded, empaths, highly sensitive, connect with nature. And you already do because you are a nature person here anyway. The empress is very fertile. Be out in nature. You have gotten grounded. And this is how you come off as to others. Is somebody that stuck up basically. And they don't even understand the calling of your life. You are not the same person you used to be. You are empath. You are highly sensitive to a lot of things here. You have to protect yourself as an empress from, you have to protect your energy, the people you're around. You have changed. You have trans transformed into somebody that's in a boss position. Like I said, you are the empress. You are the emperor. You have changed. And a lot of people don't like that. They see that five of swords. They want to be in that type of energy. They mad at you right now because you have stepped into your boss position. You're calling here.
How do you come off to others? It's a very happy, nurturing person that has a happy family, the happy life here. Some people see you as a happy, abundant person with an abundant family. You're very nurturing, abundant, happy. You have a happy family. Some people are proud of you because of that. How do you come out to others is you have a lot of possibilities. A lot of doors are opening up for you. Look at all these doors on here. They feel like you are lucky. You have a lot of possibilities or a lot of options, a lot of doors opening up for you. You get a chance to experience things a lot of people don't. How you come out to others is somebody is just very lucky that has a lot of options here. <clears throat> I don't know if I had this in a dick on this one or not, but they see you as a loving, caring person, a, part, a person that has a, a heart of gold, a person that has a good, loving, kind heart. This is how you come off to others. Some people you come off as a very love, loving person here, very loving person, and they love you. A lot of people love you here. You are the boss. You give good information. You help. You're very down to earth. You're very loving here. Some people, you come off to some people as a rebel. Very, a very strong person. Look at that, a rebel. Somebody that stands alone and the emperors can. We can stand alone. We were meant to stand alone. We were meant to be rebels. We are rebels. The emperors is a rebel. Some people see you as a rebel here. Some people see you as a very balanced, fair person here. When it comes down to making decisions and being fair about them. Some people see you as a very fair person here. The scales are here. Libra energy is here. They see you as a very fair person. The Empress is a very fair person. The truth. Some people see you as very, very beautiful. How you come off to others is somebody very beautiful, body is in shape. You're like you got it all together. The beauty, the brains, the fertility is here. You the boss. Some people look up to you because of your beauty. How you look and how you carry yourself. The emperor is beautiful. The emperor is handsome. Some people, you come on to others as you are a queen. The empress is a queen. She over all the queens. She the top dog. She the B, the top B. Like I said, beauty, your body, all of that's here with the empress. You know the empress are the emperor. They nice looking them. Smart, abundance, but very fertile. They rules of nature, period. The earth, very grounded here, down to earth. People look at you, you come off to others as a king or a queen here. Your beauty, it shows, your brains, everything, your loving, kind, nurturing heart is here. This is how people look at you, pal number two. This is how people see you. This is how you come off to others. That's the name of the title, same thing, how people see you, view you, how you come off to others. This is very good. I like these reading. You have transformed in so many ways. You are the boss empress, emperor, beautiful, nurturing. People looking at you like you the queen, king here. You're a rebel. You don't need nobody else. You can stand alone. Y'all always stand alone. We always stand alone. Rebel gonna stand by themselves. They don't need nobody else to help with nothing because they the boss. They tell you what to do. We own it. We own it. We don't need no help. We're going to say it, stand on it, and mean it here. 
We are rebels here. Empress, emperor. This is how people look at you. And I feel so sorry for the ones that thinking that you're going to go back to that energy, that five of swords. No way. You are a boss, a leader. You have transformed. You're not going back to this silliness. It makes no sense. Yeah, they think you're being sneaky. They see you. They know what it is. They know a boss don't do everything. Bosses boss up. They mean what they say and they mean and they do and they do what they mean. They mean what they say and they're gonna do what they mean. What they saying. We are bosses, we rebels, we stand alone. We don't need nobody. Look at her, she all by herself. She ain't got her king beside her. Rebel here. We are rebel. We can stand alone. Well, we bosses. We say what we want. We do what we want. Okay, we'll be moving on to pal number three now. <coughs> I got to take some medicine soon, you guys. Oh, this has really been treating me bad this time. It's cold. As long as I can get these cards off the table. <laughs> okay, we, um, We have pile number three is this green heart here. Oh, um, how do you come off to others? How do you come off to others? How do other people view you? How do you come off when they see you? The temperance card is here. Somebody is very patient, very has a lot of balance, a lot of self-control here. Somebody has a lot of strength, a lot of knowledge. Could be a religious person. You could be. You come off as very religious to some people. Somebody is very balanced, patient, a patient listener. Try to balance situations out. This is how you come off to others. It's somebody that is a fair person here. Some, not some, um, how do you come out to others? Some people feel like that you come off as like a person that's been wounded, wounded, hurt, very bad. Somebody that, you know, have moved on from troubled waters. You know, you, you came, you come off to some people as a, a person that's been, very hurt, very badly. Somebody that's a person hard or something been hurt very bad. You know, like you had some type of heartbreak, like you're a broken hearted person. <clears throat> yeah, because the Ten of Wands here, some people see you as a person that's been through a whole lot that you've been burdened down. And you moved on. Your life has changed. You have balanced your life out now. You're more patient. The harmony is back here. Um, somebody that is very smart, somebody very spiritually that went through some type of heartbreak or, you know, you was at the lowest point in your life where you was burdened down like the Ten of Wands. You, like, you was, you know, you was... Like, your life, you got your strength back here. These, this is how people, you come off to others, somebody like, wow, all the stuff you've been through, you know, you have built your life back up, you know, you got your harmony back now, you're more balanced now, you know, you see a purpose 
of, you know, living life now. You know, somebody that have overcame something, they can't believe it. I mean, the major comeback you have had. You recovered. You moved on from these troubled waters. Maybe you left the city and state and you are back now. You return with a better attitude. You, you know, you got a lot more strength now. You stronger now. You more knowledgeable here. You the king of cups, queen of cups here. This is how you come off to others is like a person that have healed and made a major comeback. They see now how happy you are. You have restored harmony again in your life here. You balance your life out from these troubled waters, things that was burdening you down here. You have made a, a, a major transformation here. You have transformed your life. You saved your life by moving on. And people know what this is, What uh, how you come off to others is a, a person, an inspirational person. You, you know, they can't believe it that you survived all of this. Because it says the end and the death card is here. You put an end to that old life. And, you know, this is how you coming off to others now. Like, you are so strong. Your life is so balanced. You have restored this harmony. You got the strength back now. You strong again now. You put an end to this old life and you have a new life and people... You come off to others as somebody very inspiring them. You recover from these things that try to break you and take you out. You have a new beginning now. You had a rebirth. The old you is gone here. With this worrying, you have built your attitude, you balance, you're more patient, your head is on straight, you're more knowledgeable of things, you're living in this professional body, mind now. You are a professional. Very strong. You got balance again in your life. This is a new beginning. You have transformed. You no longer the other, the person you was before. You have healed yourself by moving on to calmer waters. You may have left the city and state or you might have just moved out of a bad situation. You have healed. People see your strength. This is how you come off to others now as a strong person, knowledgeable person, smart person, balanced. Let's see what else we have here. Some people feel like it's a facade that you're putting on. That you are pretending to be healed and balanced. This is what's how you come off to some people because they just can't believe it. But we always going to have people like this. But this is really you. They want to act like you are pretending to be strong and healthy and you done got over all this. You have. You have. It's here several times here. You have transformed. This is the, you no longer the old person you used to be. It's not a facade you putting on, but this is saying, how do you come off to others? This is how other, some people are seeing you. It's a facade you putting on. It's fake. No, it's not fake. Anytime somebody heal from something that caused them a whole lot of pain and they left the situation, leaving sometimes make you heal faster when you get out of situations, you get away from around people. This is no facade. Some people want you to be still in that same energy and you no longer in the ten of wands. You moved on from that to calmer waters. You moved. You may have even relocate it. But it's no facade. But this is how some people looking at it. Facade. You embrace forgiveness to yourself and everything. You are a totally different person. This is how you come off to others, you know. You have transformed into a, put an end to that old you. You forget, you you more forgiving them. This is how people see, oh, you so forgiving. You more balanced, you know, everything like that. You have recovered. You have transformed, That you know, you put an end into this old life. You forgiving people that have hurt you. 
This is how they can't believe it. How you come out to others, they can't believe that you have transformed, you have healed yourself. You forgiving people that hurt you in situations and things. Some people see you as mysterious. They don't really know what to think about this. They think it's fake or facade. They feel like you being mysterious here. It's something you hiding here. This is not the real you, but it is. Who's going to come back and fake their life or something that hurt them really, really bad so they have to move from the situation or out of the city and state, and they're going to come back faking that they are here, that they, you know, it's a mystery behind all of this. You know, this is what how this is how you coming out to some people. Anyway, it's a mystery. They don't know everything. You faking. No, you're not. Ain't nobody faking it. Some people see you as a person with a lot of wisdom and knowledge. And they are happy that your life is better for you. That you are happy and balanced and you have the strength once again and the wisdom and knowledge that they knew you had. Because the King of Cups is a smart, knowledgeable person. King or Queen of Cups has a lot of wisdom and knowledge. And some people view you as a person they are so glad that you are back to yourself even stronger now. This is what how you come off to others. Your knowledge is back. Your wisdom. This is the old you. This is the person that they want to see come back. You came back stronger and better. Some people see you as an impatient person here. Like I said, in all these cards, when you do shuffle the deck, it, it's a lot of good things come out, and it's some things come out but they have to be said. Some people see you as an impatient person. No, you just don't have time for that old crap of fake people. You're not the person that had the facade on. You're dealing with some fake people yourself, and you don't have the patience for that anymore. You as a person that had a lot of wisdom and knowledge, and you fell off by something that hurt you really bad, but now you don't have the patience for this bull crap anymore. You're not even tolerating it from nobody. You have healed yourself. You have a new beginning here, a new life from something that almost took your life. Whether, you know, it took your mind, it, it was stressing you so bad, you moved on. You was already a smart person. You have a lot of wisdom and knowledge and you not don't have time. They, they see you as an impatient person that don't have time. No, you don't. Not for the crap anymore. Anything that's not serving you, you're not going to even deal with it. It's an answer to call here. So what is your soul calling you to do? I feel like you did what your soul called you to do. And you answered the call. And some people don't like that you answered your call. You put an end to this old life, this old person you used to be. And you answer the calling. What is your soul calling you to do? Your soul calls you to get your life back in balance. Get your call, your strength back. If it requires you to move, you move like spirit told you. You answered the calling. You cleared your mind. You don't have these burdens on your mind anymore. Heavy burdens are not there anymore with the Ten of Wands. You answered the calling. You stepped on it. You answered the calling. Keepers of the earth is here. You are not alone. Ain't your ancestors stand beside you? Yeah, your ancestors and spirit was all with you all along. They asked you to move to these calmer waters. This is how you come out to other people. People don't understand your calling. You are different to people because you put an end to this old life. You've been born again. You renewed yourself. You answered the calling. Your ancestors were there all along guiding you. And you went to where they was guiding you. You moved on to calmer waters to get balance back in your life. To get your mind back. Because you're a smart person with a lot of knowledge here. Very spiritual. You answered the calling here. And people cannot believe that. This is how you coming out to others as a changed person. Yes, you are. You different. You faking. No, I'm not faking. You're not faking. Nobody fakes about a life that took them down like this. A heavy burden with the ten of wands here. You had to, you had to listen to spirit here. 
Because this thing was taking a toll on you mentally a whole lot. No, they can't believe it. This is how, how you come off to others now. It say no, wait, postpone, pause. You saying no to a lot of things, people, situations, then they can't believe it. This is how you coming off. Is a very impatient person. No, she not going to do it. Why she don't want to do it? Why he don't want to do it? You saying no to things that don't serve you and people that don't serve you. You're not spending no time. You're not engaging with these things. You had a calling over your life here. And you had nobody but spirit. You had to do this alone. Spirit got your attention and guided you out of this situation. And you back now with a lot of knowledge and a lot of strength here. And you are saying no to a lot of people and things that don't serve you anymore here. Yep, you decide to share your voice and do what God asks you to do. Share your voice. Come out of the cave. What is it? I can't read it from upside down. Persecution and expression. Express yourself. Express your knowledge. That's what you decide to do. You start speaking up saying, no, I'm not doing those things anymore. No, I'm not coming. You start sharing your voice, your knowledge, helping people, showing your knowledge. How strong, how, how uh, smart the knowledge you have, the spiritual knowledge that you have. You start sharing your voice to people. This is how people... How you come off to others now is somebody that's very helpful, very knowledgeable here. Somebody that has came, overcame a lot of obstacles in your life. You got your strength back. You have transformed into a brand new person here. Yep, you're attracting your soul family. Some people are very proud of you. And like I said, there's always going to be others that's got so much to say, especially when you change your life spiritually. It's always a difference. The, fa the family, the friends, your religion, whatever you decide to do differently, they, they got a problem with it. This is how other, some others see you, but there are some people that are very happy to meet you. You attracting, you calling in your soul tribe here. You meeting your soul family, people that deserve to be in your life, that appreciate you. This is what you're doing here. This is how you coming off to some people. As a loving and respectable person, somebody they can look up to, a person that gives them a lot of knowledge here. A very religious person. You are helping people on their spiritual journey because you have transformed your life. And you are able to get to other people and you are helping people. People, you are attracting your soul family here. You know your self-worth now. You went through a whole lot of bad things. Now you know your self-worth. You had a lot of spiritual guidance here telling you your word. Saved you. Saved you. They help you put an end to this old life of pain and misery and you have been rebirthed a new life. So you are attracting your soul family, your real friends and family. People that love you for you. People that's on the same spiritual path as you. You know, a lot of people are not going to understand the new you. We have to leave people not saying we don't love them, but some people are not going to be able to go where we're going because they'll never get to where we are, if you understand, you know. It, those of us that's on a spiritual journey and we are attracting our soul families, we often have to leave family friends behind. We do. You're not spending any more time worrying. How you come off to, to others, you don't have time for this no more. Just like I was just saying, you're on a spiritual journey. Your life has transformed into something better. You are a better person than you was before. You made yourself strong. So you're not wasting any more time with this hourglass. You're not doing it anymore. Things, people, places that don't serve you, yes, you have changed. You have transformed. People looking at you. This, how do you come off to others? As a person that don't have time anymore, don't want to spend the time. And that's what they're saying because 
you have changed. You know you are loved by a community. Your soul tribe is waiting for you. A lot of people are looking up to you. Look at this pe these people here. This is how you come off to others as somebody very loving, caring. You are attracting your soul family, your soul tribe here. People really do love you here. Surprises here. You are open to, let me say, release your expectations and be open to surprises. I feel like every day this journey you on, you are open to uh, a lot of big surprises as long as they healthy. You know, you're not putting any expectations on what people should be like anymore. It's all about the love and the connections now. Spiritual connections, the love. You are open to surprises as long as they safe. Uh, you know, good surprises. You're not expecting. You're not putting expectations on things anymore. People see you are different from what you used to be. They are surprised that you're not putting expectations on you. I mean, it's not. They are surprised by the people that's on this path with you, this spiritual path, this journey with you. Normally, people probably would say, them, them not the type of people he used to be around or she used to be around. No, it's about you not even looking at how people really look. It's all about the love and spiritual connection now. You have transformed your life, and people are surprised how you not put no expectations on anything or anybody anymore as long as it's safe and it's good it's healthy <clears throat> how do you come off to others how others see you as somebody and know your worth now you've elevated yourself you no longer in this ten of wands energy and people are proud of you you know yourself worth. it are it is people that are still proud of you on, that you are this new person or you on this new spiritual journey and those are all it's always others you know but i got to tell both because the cards came out like that you know don't worry about those that's talking about how much you have changed and the things you don't do anymore because they want to be a part of this soul tribe and this spiritual journey you on you could get other people that love you to inspire them to be on this journey with you. But some people would never change their life. So you had to change your life because you did have to change your life because you was going through a lot. And now you're going to meet your new soul tribe. Sometimes family and friends, we be with them our whole lives and they never want to change their lives for anything else other than what they believe in. But you have... To, you had to change your life. You're going on a different journey. You're going to meet different friends, different family, different people that love you. Yeah, because there were some things that broke your heart. Some people were talking about how, how, how do you come off as somebody that's broken hearted? Not anymore. They're going to still say that. Because you don't want to deal the same way you were dealing before with the people, places, things that you were doing before. They saying that. How do you come out to other people? They're going to say you broke. She's still broken heart. He's still broken heart. No, you have healed yourself. But it's just something that people want to say anyway because they don't like the new you. You healed this broken heart. You're on a spiritual journey. You got your strength back, your knowledge back. You almost lost your mind. You almost lost it all, but you moved on to calmer water. Your heart is no longer broken because you got love here. Love here in this heart and a soul tribe of people that love you. Your heart is not still broken. People have came in your life and healed you. People. People love you. People look up to you. You're a person that give good knowledge. People respect you, pal number three. You walked away. Like I said, with that six of swords. How do you come out to people? As they, you, they may call you a runner. You left the situation. Call me a runner because I run every time. When I'm hurt, if I can get out the situation, time heal all wounds. And by getting out of things, a lot of and situations and areas, sometimes it helps you to heal fast. Yeah, you walked away. They can call you a runner. She ran off because her heart was broken. 
Damn right. You have to leave sometime so you can heal the heart. You have to get yourself out the situation. Yeah, you walked away. But guess what? You came back here with more knowledge, more balance. People love you. You're attracting your soul tribe. You're no longer the same person you used to be. You, you're not even that person no more. You're a whole new person. You had to leave to restore yourself. People look at you, how you come out to others, somebody very wealthy here. Or you, you they can feel that you're going to meet somebody very wealthy here. How you come out to others, you're going to be rich and abundant, or you already have it. A man holding a, a coin here. How do you come out to others? Some people feel like this is a victorious situation. Victory. You won. They love seeing you like this. Some people are very happy you overcame this. Look at you. You won. You fought for your life. Now you live in a victorious life, abundant life, happy life. You're no longer all tied up in your mind, your head, in the house. You're no longer being restricted. How do you come out to others? There's somebody that have let go of these bonds, these ties. You have let yourself out. You're no longer tied up, chained up anymore in your mind, in your house. Once you made this move and walked away from something that broke your heart, you came back different. You're no longer being bound up, tied up, restricted. You out here doing the word, the the the, uh, the things that God and Spirit is guiding you to do. You have a new life. You are transforming lives through your giving them knowledge. You meeting your soul tribe now. You are untied. You're able to move freely. To meet people, love and care, and people that's gonna love on you here. This is how you come out to others. People got different opinions on how they see you, and that's life itself. Some people gonna say it's bad how you came back. Some people love how you have transformed here. So it's always gonna be people that's not gonna agree with your life, how your life has improved for yourself. You are happy now, you victorious, you won this. You fought this fight, and you won. So, power number three, we are done with this message on how do you come off to others or how do people view you. Like, share, and subscribe on this video. These videos I do is to inspire you, to encourage you on your spiritual journey as we all go through this together. We are all going on this spiritual journey. All Everybody that watches this, everybody do, does tarot. So like, share, and subscribe this video. I will be giving more videos. I'm not going to stop doing it. I love this. So I'm going to be putting my all into all these videos. Like, share, and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching this T's Tarot. See you next time.